The color of the sun has long been a subject of fascination and inquiry for scientists and stargazers alike. For most of us, the sun appears to be a brilliant, blazing ball of yellow or white light in the sky. But is that its true color, or is there more to the story? In reality, the sun's color is a bit more complex than it might seem at first glance. The color of an object, including a star like our sun, is determined by its temperature. And the sun is incredibly hot, with its core reaching temperatures of about 15 million degrees Celsius, 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. When we think of hot objects here on Earth, we often associate them with the color red. Think about a red-hot piece of metal, or a glowing ember in a fire. However, the sun's temperature is so high that it emits light in a wide range of colors, not just red. In fact, it emits light in all colors of the visible spectrum simultaneously. This phenomenon is due to a property of light called blackbody radiation. It's a bit like a rainbow made up of all the colors you can imagine blended together. So when you look at the sun, you're actually seeing a combination of colors, which our eyes perceive as white or slightly yellow. However, the sun's color can appear slightly different depending on where and how you observe it. For example, when we view the sun from space, where there's no atmosphere to scatter its light, it indeed looks white. But as sunlight passes through Earth's atmosphere, it can be affected by scattering, which makes the sun appear slightly yellow to our eyes. The scattering of sunlight is also responsible for the blue color of our sky. Our atmosphere scatters shorter blue wavelengths of light more effectively than longer red wavelengths. That's why, on a clear day, the sky above us is predominantly blue. During sunrise and sunset, when the sun is lower on the horizon, sunlight has to pass through more of Earth's atmosphere. This additional atmosphere scatters even more blue and violet light, leaving us with the warm, red, orange, and pink hues that make sunsets and sunrises so captivating. So, while the sun may appear yellow or white to us, its true color is a blend of all the colors in the spectrum, with a slight yellowish tinge due to the scattering of sunlight in our atmosphere. It's a reminder of the intricate interplay between the sun Earth's atmosphere, and our perception of color. Now when it comes to studying the sun's color in more detail, scientists use instruments like spectrographs to analyze its spectrum. These instruments can break down the sunlight into its component colors, revealing the presence of specific absorption lines. These lines provide valuable information about the sun's composition and temperature. One interesting aspect is that the sun's color can change slightly over time due to various factors. For instance, during periods of increased solar activity, such as during a solar maximum, the sun can appear slightly more white than yellow. This is because of the higher energy and temperature associated with increased solar flares and sunspots. The sun's color also has cultural and artistic significance. In many cultures, the sun is often depicted as golden or fiery orange, symbolizing its warmth and life-giving energy. Artists throughout history have used various shades of yellow, orange, and red to capture the essence of the sun in their works. In conclusion, while the sun's color may seem straightforward, it is the result of a fascinating interplay between its extreme temperatures, the scattering of light in Earth's atmosphere, and our own perceptual mechanisms. Whether it's a brilliant white disk in the sky or a fiery ball of orange during a sunset, the sun's color continues to inspire wonder and curiosity, reminding us of the intricate beauty of our universe. Feel free to share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you.